Wake you up. Three p.m. is our Tuesday. Tuesday three p.m. is our learning, exchanging, exciting time.、Uh, it doesn't matter if you feel excited or not. We are going to deliver to you the exciting knowledge. Today we're going to talk about tips. A lot of times,、uh, tips is a thing. When you go to restaurant, you eat. You think of how much to give your tips to. The person who serve you, but if you are a business owner, you think of how to report the tips. So tips is related to the person who receive it, also related to the employer, the restaurant owner that for you to manage. So today's webinar we talk about tips inside out, like in every angle, and we're gonna look at tips. All right. So before we start. If you remember, we always look at our、um, always look at our、um, website and our YouTube channel because I want you to get to know us. And every time when we get online, I always see new people. I'm just so glad you're here again. You're here the first time. And the communitycpa.com is our website. On our website, our features are really、um, complete. It is really considered you. Wanting to talk to us, or you wanting to be our client? Here you can click on the appointment. Then you will get to know all the、uh, the appointment、uh, options of who you can choose. You can see on the list. If you choose me, then it will show you my availability right there for you. So you never would worry when I'm available, and you can always check online. The other thing I want to show you is our channel. We have a community CPA channel on YouTube, and this channel has been there for more than three years. Has collected over a thousand videos on it, and we really did every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and we do webinars. And so today I'm doing a webinar on tips in English, and tomorrow it will be in Chinese. And then we have Spanish coming on Friday. On Saturday, I normally do a hour-long webinar, really dive into knowledge that is critical for small businesses, especially the one that is successful. You want to do it right, and you want to not pay tips to the government. They don't need your tips; they just need you. To pay taxes according to the rules. So you、uh, on our channel, you can search. See right here. If you search tips, and then you will see all of the tip webinars we had from the past. Tips rules didn't change much, but we do change because every webinar is different. When we go through, even if the slides is the same, the content I give you will be more of the content. Related to today, because we have client asking questions all the time, so we know exactly what you needed.、Um, you know, in、uh, in your in your actual business. All right. So now let's take a look at our presentation. I'll start.、Uh, I'll start our presentation slides, which guide me to not give. Too many things outside of the subject. I can go on and on to give you a lot of things that is still useful, but is not focused. And here, and before I brag about、uh, myself, I'll tell you that it's necessary to brag about yourself. You know why? Sometimes you don't know me. If I don't tell you my credentials, and you may not think that you may not put enough weight on what we are doing for you, and we are a reputable CPA firm, and I am the founder and a managing partner for Community CPA, and I have a really good team, team of forty people. I'll tell you, every single one of them is amazing. So if you work with us, and you can feel it, the energy is different. The you know the customer service level is way out of chart, and our knowledge in particular, we're not selfish. We share. And at one time, a client was asking me, "Oh Ying, you gave all your knowledge on the webinar, and you know, aren't you afraid that nobody would come to you to work with you anymore because they already learned everything from the webinar?" You know what? The universe is so big. If I can have everybody learning from the webinar, do it themselves, 
that would help us to have clients who come to our firm and really needed the help. So I'm not worried about that. I want you to learn. And if you have a quick question and you come over to the webinar and you can post your question on YouTube channel, we'll answer that for you. I wrote a book in 2019. That book is 8 a.m. We call that appointment with Ying at 8 a.m. And that book is about how to start a business. And you want to know how to start. And especially if you have a special situations, for example, your partner with someone, or for example, you, uh, you have a different visa in US. So those are the things uh, that book will teach you. And I just finished in February, I finished the second book is 10 a.m. This is how to grow your business. You know, you, you may say that, oh, you know, you just make sure you got a lot of sales that you grow your business. No. When you are small business, small, in today's world, small and cheap and selling, beating Walmart, you're not going to survive. So there's other reasons for why small business can still survive and prosper in today's economy. And this book is tells you that. And just because I write the book, not because I just have my own experience, I also have your experience that embedded in the book. So it is a collective experience from our 10,000 clients. And of course, webinar, this is free webinar, no responsibility whatsoever. But if you retain us, to service you, of course, we take responsibility. So uh, as I said, it's a free knowledge base. Learn as much as you can. If you have questions, just ask us, right? Ask me. All right, tips. What is considered tips? Tips are discretionary payments determined by a customer that your employee receives, okay? Not determined by you determined by the customer. And the common industries, including restaurants. So restaurant is the place you get tips, right? And of course, hotels and the casinos also have that. So the tips includes cash you received, things you received, okay? And by values. And the tips from customer who leave a tip through economic uh, through a tech, uh, electronic payment method like paying by credit card, then leave the tips on the credit card. That's tips too. Even though it didn't come to you, you are as a server, waiter, and you didn't get that because it was it went to the boss's uh, POS system. But that's your tips too. So those are tips. And are tips taxable? Great question. So all the tips received by the employee are income. So subject to tax, yes, subject to federal income tax. And the tips received by employee in the calendar months are subject to the social security and the Medicare tax and it must be reported to the employer. So you, as a waiter, you may got $100 cash in your pocket. That's your tips, right? Your employer, your boss didn't know because it's a cash to you. So you are responsible for that money to pay taxes. So if the total tips received is less than $20 in a month, don't worry about it. So that is not really considered to pay taxes and you don't need to report. Now, in this, in this webinar, I want to split the tips into two sides. One is with the employee, which means I am a waiter, and what kind of responsibility I have on the tips I received. Let's go through that. Then I will go through the boss. And you are the boss. And what kind of responsibility you have to know about tips. So that would cover the tips all around, right? So now let's see the employee responsibility on the tips. So the employee, me, the waiter, I need to keep a daily tip record. So if it is under $20, remember, I don't really, I don't have to report, but I need to report all of my tips on my 1040. So what happened is, let's say you worked 
every month. Every month your tips is twenty dollars, not more than twenty. So you didn't tell your employer, and you don't need to. But this twenty dollars over twelve months become two hundred forty dollars, right, in the year. But do you need to report the two hundred forty dollars on your income tax return, saying that is your tips? The answer is yes. It's subject to income tax. All right. So how to keep the record? So a lot of times, really, if you have a little book, you can just write it. There is no required format for you, but the IRS do have a tool for you. It's called a Form Forty Seventy A. So that form is allow you to write down what you need to record. So I'll show you this form right here. It looks like this: is employees daily record of tips. That means it's made for me. I'm the waiter, and I write down my tips. So the date, the tip received date, and then the amount. So I can write everything on this form. Then at the end of the month, I give to the employer. I give to my boss because he needs to report my tips for me. Why it is important to give that to your boss? Because your boss actually pays Social Security Medicare match for you. So let's say if it is hundred dollars, your boss is actually paying about nine percent on that hundred dollars to your Social Security Medicare benefit. Why not? You should have that, right? But if you don't give to your boss, they don't know. Then it's your responsibility. So how to report tips to my boss? How to report that? So here's a couple tips we mentioned. Tips if totaling twenty dollar per month or more should be disclosed to the employer to the boss, and no particular form needed. Uh, but the uh, you know, but the example could you could use forty seventy. So remember, I mentioned about the form forty seventy a. That is your daily tracking. But the forty seventy is a summary that you can give to your employer on how much you are getting. So that would be a proper form you use. But if you say that, oh Ying, that's so confusing, too many forms for me, and I don't want to use that, no problem. You can just tell your employer what you get by you know text message. Or written document; those are all trackable. So, if your employer, your boss, forgot about paying Social Security Medicare on your behalf, and then you say, "Look, I told you that the other day," and、um, you can mention to your boss that they need a community CPA to help them with their accounting, so they would never forget that. And also. On the tax return, so now you know to submit that to your boss,、uh, to have them include that on your W two. But what if you didn't? What if you just didn't have?、Uh, you forgot, and then you got these tips. That's your income. You need to report. There is a form when you file ten forty tax return, and you need to pull out this form, fill in. The information on the tips that you received. The form's number is forty one thirty seven. It looks like this, folks: a Social Security and a Medicare tax on unreported tips income. And then you may say that, "Whoa, that sounds really serious. It sounds like I made a mistake. This is not good." No, a situation happens. Maybe your boss、um, just never even come to collect it from you, and you didn't even know. And at the end of the year, you look at your income, goes, "Oh, I make more than that," and I, you know, I'm actually sponsoring my parents to immigrant from India to here. I can't even have. Too low of an income, then that would jeopardize the immigration filing. Then you want to report that not reported tips income. Does that make sense to you? So not everybody wanted to make less money. We, in life, we want to make more money to show our success, to get our mortgage, to sponsor our relatives. There's a lot of reason for people to report income. They needed the income to be reported accurately. So with that said. You're not at fault, and you just go ahead and file form forty one thirty seven. 
All right. So now let's quickly summarize as a waiter my responsibility. I need to document my tips. I need to report my tips to my employer. And if I forgot to report to my employer, I need to report that on my 1040. Does that make sense? Simple, right? Straightforward. Now let's talk about employer, your boss, your boss responsibility. And your boss has a lot, a lot of responsibility, and they need to, uh, to, to get your tips reporting every day. They need to get it from you at the end of the month before they run salary. So they need to withhold taxes. They need to pay Social Security, Medicare, and they need to report your tips as part of your W-2. And that is required. But of course, if you didn't give the tips to your boss and they don't know, but they know the portion is in the credit card because it shows how much of the tips belongs to you from the credit card. So a lot of uh, restaurant owners are really uh, stuck with the thinking that, oh, my credit card, 1099K, if I got a million dollar on 1099K, I cannot... Uh, you know, the tips are in there, so I have to report my tips as my income. Now I overpay taxes. Folks, keep this in mind. When you are a restaurant owner, your income, your 1099K, need to be broken into three parts. Three parts. So these three numbers add together should equal to your 1099K. Number one, your sales. We call that gross sales. Number two, your sales tax collected. Number three, tips collected. These three numbers need to show up on your income tax return. So that can match it to your 1099K. So the IRS is not going to scream saying that you underreport income. But what happened to the tips and the sales tax? You will reduce that later. On your tax form, you will reduce your tips because that's part of your salary expenses. So that's come out of your salary wages expense. You will reduce your sales tax because that is the expense for you. You paid it, right? So keep that in mind. This is a practice tip for restaurant owners. If you got an accountant who does your income just one number for the whole year, Wrong, and you should have that to be three numbers, so matches to your 1099k. So with that said, it is your responsibility to make sure that you put the tips in the payroll processing. So have that processed through payroll, withheld properly, and pay Social Security, Medicare, and those are your responsibility. All right, what about... The unreported tips. So if the employee, if your waiter and a waitress do not tell you what they made on the tips, they have unreported tips from you. Do you know that you are not responsible for that Social Security Medicare payment? So you are not at a loss. You just simply don't know and you are not going to pay, withhold, anything so they don't show up on their w-2 remember they would have to report that themselves when they file 1040 so you are not liable to withhold and pay the social security medicare of your share that's a relief right that's like oh okay if they didn't tell us, we don't know. But it's your job to make sure that they tell you. And so, you know, that way you can process that properly instead of them doing this kind of after fact reporting. Want to talk about a kind of charges that in the restaurant that really belongs to service charges. So for example, gratitude. You know how when you have a huge party coming in and you already charge the percentage, that's not tips, that's a service charge. So when we say it's not tips, what that means? That means it is not customer willingly doing it to you, it's your asking. The customer maybe still give you tips, that belongs to tips, but that part of you ask, hey, pay me, that is not tips. So for you as an employer, and that's your income. And if you want to divide that 
to your employee. That's okay too, but it is wages. It's not tips. Okay. The next slide, I will tell you why we are so care about that. Why? What's the difference? I put on tips. I put on wages. I, I I still pay out. It doesn't matter. It matters. Matters a big deal. So I want to show you why it matters. But right now, I want you to understand that the service charges you charge, that is not a discretionary to the customer, and the customer. The payment is not tips, but of course there are some restaurants. Like at the end of the receipt, they put in fifteen percent is this amount, twenty percent is that amount. You know that is sort of like we already tell the customer what they should pay. That is still tips because the customer has a choice to pay you ten, fifteen, or twenty or twenty-five. Right, so that part, even though you listed the amount, they paid the amount. That is still the tip, but tips is. Just remember, it has to be decided by the customer and to provide to your employee. So that's how we call them tips. Now, there is a FICA tip credit for the boss of the restaurant. You probably know that already, but you probably don't know how significant that is. It is about nine percent. To come back to you, whatever you matched for Social Security, Medicare, it came back to you. So here, the employer, the bosses with the employees who earn tips are required to pay taxes on the tips, right? So that tips are considered income under FICA, and the restaurant owner receive a incentive. For actually reporting workers' tip earnings, so that incentive is called the FICA tip credit. And let me show you how exactly that shows up on your tax return. So here, this is a K one from eleven twenty S. A lot of restaurants are under eleven twenty S as corporation, as we call it, right? And whether you made money or not, in this particular example, you can see that the restaurant owner didn't really make any money, but it has a twelve thousand nine hundred twenty-nine dollar tips credit. What is this one? These are the FICA tax you paid when you were running payroll for the employee who earned tips. So that is the total for the year. Look what that does for you on your tax return. So let's say this is you. You're the boss. You're getting the K one. You see that tips credit. You see that credit. Okay, what does that do to you? So on your tax return, and if you notice that this is the last page of the tax return, your total tax. Okay, let's say you need to pay four hundred forty two dollar tax. And your withholding was nine thousand since you are not owing a lot of taxes. So your withholding that was paid through the payroll is coming back to you. That's normal. That's yours. That's yours from from the whole year and now coming back to you at once. So I wouldn't consider that any gain. That is just you know you paid ahead of time. Now you're getting it back. But look at the line eighteen D. That's the credit. You see, that's a refundable credit. What does that mean? That means even if you didn't pay taxes, that twelve thousand ninety nine dollar came back and become a cash to your pocket. So that is why we care about what was calculated in tips, what is was calculated in wages. So if your gratitude goes to tips. You're gonna end up getting those kind of credit that shouldn't be there. So your gratitude goes into the wages, and then your tips from customer they give you would come back here and give you that refund. So with the withholding refund of nine thousand plus the twelve thousand tips credit, so my dear client got a twenty thousand dollar refund at the end of the year when they file taxes. Makes sense. So now this is the portion of employer, the boss, and when you file taxes, how exactly the tips play in. So if you are a restaurant owner and you don't have tips credit, then you want to make sure you exam your process and how you are classifying tips. Because if you did not classify tips as tips, you just give your total wages to your 
payroll give, give to the ADP and they don't know you have tips, then you're missing out a lot. Okay, so it is important to run your payroll, especially if you're a restaurant owner, to run your payroll with your uh, with your local CPA or with a CPA firm that who understands your business. And it automatically, when we have a restaurant client and the tips credit is one of the administrative factor we want to consider. So we teach the owners what to do and then we process it on W-2, then they get the refund on their 1040. All right, this is so far we got for today. And I hope you learned one or two things. If you have any more questions, call our office at 515 515- 288-3188. Remember, we open six days a week, a Monday to Saturday. If you are just busy and a Saturday morning you have time, we are here. And our Bloomington office and Des Moines office opens on Saturday. If you call, there's always a live person to answer your question, to get to take care of you. So I welcome you to be our client and go to YouTube channel, subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up. So I am, uh, you know, that's the way we got energy to continue put out good work for you. And I will see you again and again and hope to get to know you in person as well. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.